Daily Broadside Day 618. When I was in college, I used to go by the student union and I would I would flip guitars, um, uh, you know, to make money. Uh, and there was like a uh, little board in the student union. It was like pre Craigslist. This is, you know, 1995. And uh, they would have like all this stuff for sale and, you know, oh, I got this for sale and that for sale and all this. And so I would, I would get these people's number. I'd call them, I'd buy some stuff, flip it, you know, a little while later and, you know, make some money off of it or whatever. But one day I was there and I noticed that uh, part of the board had a like rides needed, like a ride sharing type of thing, right? Before there was ride sharing. And uh, there was a girl that needed a ride to a town that was on the way home to my town. And uh, this was like, as it worked out, um, you know, a weekend that I was going home. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give somebody a ride home for 20 bucks in gas. It was like, like 20, 25 bucks, something like that, whatever. But it basically paid for my gas to get home. And because uh, gas back then was, you know, dollar fifteen or some crap. But anyway, I'm sitting there and I called this girl up. And uh, her last name, I won't give her a full name because, you know, who knows where she's at, but... I don't want to embarrass the girl because it's kind of an embarrassing story. But uh, I call her up. Her last name was Vroom. V-R-O-O-M as in Kachow Vroom. Right? Like, and I, I'd never heard of that as a last name. Uh, a Google search today will tell you that, that it apparently is a popular name. You know, it's not Smith or anything, but it, it exists uh, in various forms. And so I was like, this is a strange name, man. Vroom. That's that's weird. Family must have been, uh, you know, race car drivers. You know, how, like, uh, you know, some of the last name Baker or whatever. They come from a long line of Bakers because that's just where names came from back in the day, theoretically. But uh, so I call this girl up. I'm like, hey, I'm headed uh, down. I'll be passing through your city, you know, Friday afternoon. Uh, if you want to ride, let me know. I can pick you up, you know, wherever. So she's like, yeah, I, I, I can do this. It was a real short conversation. But she's like, yeah, just she tells me her dorm. Uh, picked her up at like 12 o'clock, right? Something like that. Yeah, Friday afternoon. So we're heading home. We hop in my blazer, hit the clutch, shift into first. I'm out the door, right? And we're riding down the road. I'd say it was probably five miles and we were done talking. And I mean, it was just, I just couldn't get anything out of her. Like she just didn't want to talk or shy. I don't know what it was, but, uh, you know, Hey, how you doing? You know, what are you studying? Where, you know, how long, what year are you? That kind of stuff. And just, just real, real short answers and then I, was, I just gave up and turned the radio on and just listened well we're about maybe 20 30 minutes into the trip and um all of a sudden you know i'm sitting there driving you know and my nose just i was like what in the hell is that and vroom had shit my truck like bad like like she farts like a man you know what i'm saying like it was it was bad it was very bad to the point that like my eyes were watering it was hard to see the road i'm kind of you know just you know and and i didn't want to be like just immediately roll down the windows, you know, I was trying to be, uh, gal I don't know what, I don't know what I was trying to be, but I didn't want to be rude. But at the same time, she did shit in my truck. And, uh, I mean, it was, it, it was, it permeated, you know, that, that truck got sold years later. It's probably still embedded in those seats. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I mean, it was, it was bad. It, it lingered for a good 20, 30 minutes. And, and I'd, I'd, I'd look over, you know, trying to catch like, is she not, you know, is she not recognizing how noxious it is in this cabin right now? You know, and I wanted so bad to just roll down the window. Now today's me, I wouldn't have just rolled down the window. I'd have rolled down her window and been like, and just stared at her, you know, but, uh, uh, it was awkward and I can only imagine how awkward it was for her. Uh, but then again, it, it worked out because she didn't have anything to say. Uh, so she didn't have to say anything the rest of the trip because we'd already concluded all the conversation we were going to have. And I was just like, vroom, vroom, you know, we're just pedaling down the road and it's just a, a disgusting, disgusting sewage plant inside of my truck. And, uh, so I drop her off, you know, and that was the next thing that we said to each other, you know, all right, have a good day. And that was the last time that I accepted $20 for a ride. I just soon pay my own gas than to pay someone to pass gas in my car, you know. Uh, but that girl's got problems. She's got uh, intestinal problems, probably to this day, you know. Her intestines are vroom, vroom, and, you know, out her ass and everything. But uh, we went to my parents' house um, Saturday afternoon. Spent the night, hung out with them for a little bit because, you know, they need a little me in their life every once in a while. And uh, I walk in and I, I sit down in what is my mother's chair in the sunroom and I take my wallet and my knife out and I, I lay them on, um, uh, the, the table there, you know, and I'm, I'm sitting there and we're watching, you know, college basketball and just 
hanging out, whatnot. Actually, uh, I, I bought some uh, Hennessy, uh, not because it tastes good, because it doesn't, uh, because I just always wanted to see what it tastes like. I'd never had an occasion where I'd be like, I'll have a Hennessy. A Henny, as they call it. But uh, so I bought some of that stuff. First of all, way overpriced for what it is. Uh, obviously, that's a uh, supply and demand price because that stuff is not worth what they're charging. And I just got the, you know, the small bottle, and I want to say it was like nineteen or twenty-one dollars. It was insane. And so, uh, so I, I I took a shot of it straight, and I was like, oh, this is horrible. And then I added some orange juice to it, and then it just tasted like a screwdriver with a weird aftertaste. But at any rate, I'm sitting there drinking Henny. And I'm watching, uh, cause I'm not, you know, mama didn't raise no pussy. I'm gonna drink the stuff, you know? So we're sitting there, I'm drinking Henny. I'm watching college basketball because why wouldn't you do those two things at the same time? And, uh, my mom comes in about, you know, 45 minutes later and she's like, um, why do you have your wallet sitting there, um, on that, on that coffee plate? And I'm like, because that's where I put it. What's the big deal? She's like, it's on. I'm like, no, it's not. I didn't cut it on. She's like, it's. And now what we're talking about is I got her this for Christmas, right? One of the things I got her for Christmas was a little hot plate for her coffee mug. So that when you sit your coffee mug on, you can set it to like two or three different temperatures and it keeps your coffee warm. Coffee is for the week, but you know, I'll play your game. Uh, and so I didn't know that it was weight activated. I mean, who makes that kind of crap? I thought you had to turn it on. So I, I immediately reach over and my wallet is like, I was afraid that all my credit cards and money and everything had just fused together because it was so damn hot. Now I've got a Duluth trading wallet that if you need a good wallet, I want to say it's it's Oxen or by it's Bison. I think it's a Bison. Best wallet I have ever had. I probably had that wallet guy at least 11 or 12 years. Shows no signs of wear. Phenomenal products. Uh, so if you need a good wallet that's going to withstand the test of time and uh, <clears throat> the uh, delinquencies that man throws on it, Duluth Trading. Uh, I'm not endorsed, by the way. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's bison. Anyway, that thing was like molten rock. It was as hot as Vroom's ass in my truck, you know. And I was like, holy crap. And so I toss it to her and I was like, throw that in the freezer. I put that damn wallet in the freezer for 30 minutes. Pulled it out. The corners were still hot. And I'm like, this is a dangerous thing that I have gotten. Because I bought them for like a couple different people that, that like coffee in their life. I was like, oh, this is a nice little stocking stuffer, as they call it. Uh, I'll tell you what was else was stuffy. It was in that damn van after Broom's ass went off. But anyway, uh, so, you know, I was sitting there and I was like, this is this is dangerous. This should have an on-off button. Because, you know, what if I'd have had like a, a, instead of a glass of Henny, a glass of gasoline, you know? Um, not that I would drink gasoline, but just maybe I just had one on occasion and all, but anyway, uh, so nothing burned down, nothing caught on fire except Vroom's at, all right, I've played that enough. Y'all have a great day, kitty.